Hey guys, it's me Stace. Welcome back to another No Gadget Needed project. Today we're making this really fun card. There's the outside there and then we have the inside. The outside piece here for the umbrella is made from a cupcake also with a skewer. Alright, so to get started you will need a piece of cardstock for the base of the card. This piece is 8.5 by 5.5. You want to score that at 4 and a quarter to make our card base. You will need two pieces of white cardstock. They both measure 4 by 5 and a quarter. One is for the outside, the other is for the inside. Accent color. This is three and three quarter by five and a scrap piece of brown. So we're going to work on our blue layer first and our brown um, cardstock. We're just going to tear this. I'm going to tear two pieces. Then we're going to lay on our card how we like it. So I think this one might be a tad bit too big. Tear it some more. And on my torn edge, I want to just take my fingers and kind of curl that a little bit. So it gives this piece a little bit of life. And that's going to get laid right there. Then we have our next piece. I want this one to be a little bit skinnier or not as tall. So I'm going to tear this one some more. And again, do the same thing. Just fold up those little edges. Right, and then get an idea of how that looks. So I like that look. So what I'm going to do now is take my glue and adhere this piece down. I'm just lining it up with the bottom of the blue. Like that. And then we'll take this piece as well. And I'm only going to put glue on the very, very bottom. This way it's, I, I'm not going to lose that dimension I created. And lay this one down. Just like that. I'm going to flip it over and just cut off the extra. I think I've made this card before out of a cupcake wrapper. It's super cute. Okay, so we have all that done. Now while I'm here, I do want to stamp my greeting. And I'm using one of May May Made It stamps. This is called Fall Stitched Up. I'm using You Are a Beloved Friend in All Seasons. It's already on my block. I'm going to grab my Versifying Black Ink and a piece of scrap paper, just to stamp first. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to stamp it on my piece here. I'm going to bring it down so I can see it to make sure it's on there straight, hopefully. There we go. Really pretty stamp, so I think I kind of smudged it a little bit, but that's okay. All right, now let's work on our card base. Let's bring this piece back over. We're going to take our white piece. Put that on the card front. Just like that. And then this blue piece. If you want to, you can always pop this blue piece up. And I might do that, so I'm going to hold off on that one. Then we have the inside. I'm going to grab my black ink again. And I'm going to grab the little swirl. From that stamp, from the same stamp set right there, just to bring something on the inside so it's not so plain. And I'm gonna usually, I usually stamp on the lower right. I'm gonna stamp on the lower left this time. Okay, I think I smudged that one as well. That's okay. All right, flip it over. And we're gonna put this on the inside of the card. I have ink on my fingers. Now I have an ink smudge in my card. I have two of them. I'm gonna grab my little mono eraser. I love this little tool. If you have smudges like I do, it just simply sands down the paper a little bit to get rid of the smudge. Here we go, go on. All right, now we're gonna work on the umbrella piece. So we're gonna grab a skewer. I'm just gonna tear it in half and I wanna keep the pointy end, or not tear it, I'm gonna break it in half. Grab our cupcake wrapper. We're going to fold this in half. And I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it on the sides down a little bit so it creates that umbrella shape. Okay, just like that. To keep that closed, I'm going to put some glue on the very end on this side and on that side. Just a great little card for kids to make as well. All right, so we have the basic umbrella. We're gonna take some glue dots and put them on the inside just to keep the umbrella closed. Put one there. I'm gonna 
close that one. And maybe one more for the other side. Get it off my finger. There we go. All right, now we're going to take our skewer and put it through the top through the umbrella and go through the top so it has that pointy edge like umbrellas normally have. And then figure out how big you want it. Now you can tell that my skewer is too long. I'm just going to break it off again some more. And if you want to, because we have this yucky edge, you can always take um, an emery board and just kind of file that down a little bit. Okay, so it gives us that more of a, a blunt tip. Put that back in there. All right, so I think right there looks pretty cute, right? I'm going to take a glue dot on the back of this to hold that down. I want to adhere this to our card. So I put a glue dot on my skewer. Try to make the glue dot be as skinny as it can be so you don't see it from the front. It's kind of hard though because it's just like a glob, but we'll try our best. I'm also going to stick one up here. For when I do put it inside the umbrella, it'll stay there as well. Okay. So I think maybe about here. Okay, all right. Just gonna put that in our umbrella, or our cupcake piece to make our umbrella. Down and then take this piece and hold this down. But I'm also going to put some glue behind. Actually, I'm going to put some foam squares behind that. I think that might be a little bit better. I'm going to grab two foam squares, take the backings off of those, and then put this down on our card. Like that. How super cute is that, right? All right, now do we pop it up or do we leave it flat? I'm thinking I want to pop it up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some foam squares. I just have these little ones here. Okay, so I'm going to do all four corners. And then maybe two in the middle. I might as well use all these right here. Finish them off. Okay, give all them a little squish. Take the backings off and our card's done. So the only thing you need for this card would be a skewer, which you can pick up at Dollar Tree and also the cupcake the cupcake wrappers. This would be a really cute birthday card as well because of the cupcake wrapper. All right, make sure I'm going the right way. I'm gonna put this on there. Isn't that sweet? And I do like a popped up versus being flat like I have my other one. You can see the sand is different each time, like here is a bit more higher. But either way, super, super cute card. Very easy to make. Um, any questions, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.